Welcome to Hawk Class. Today we present a new story about one of the artistic topics from the history of art. Let's enjoy together one of history of art class. In the early 1830s, the romantic painter Joseph William Turner persuaded his friend David Roberts to give up painting scenes and devote himself to becoming a real artist. Before his famous trip, Roberts had established a reputation as an important architectural artist. If not celebrated, he was on the verge of earning his living now on commissions alone. Any artist's dream. The trip took him not only to Spain, but Portugal and Morocco. After visiting Madrid, Toledo, Cordova, Granada, Malaga, Gibraltar and Seville, he settled down in Spain for several months working up some of his sketches in oil. Twenty-five of the Spanish sketches were lithographed and issued in a volume called Picturesque Sketches from Spain, published in 1837 by John Murray. This publication brought him into contact with the Belgium-born artist and lithographer Louis Haig who would figure so prominently in the success of his future Egypt and Holy Land series. The following year Roberts was elected an associate to the Royal Academy. Roberts set sail for Egypt on August 31, 1838. His intent was to produce drawings that he could later use as the basis for the paintings and lithographs to sell to the public. Egypt was much in vogue at this time, and travelers, collectors and lovers of antiquities were keen to buy works inspired by the East, or depicting the great monuments of ancient Egypt. Muhammad Ali Pasha received Roberts in Alexandria on May 16, 1839. Shortly before his return to Britain, he later reproduced this scene, apparently from memory, in Volume 3 of Egypt and Nubia. Roberts made a long tour in Egypt, Nubia, the Sinai, the Holy Land, Jordan and Lebanon. Throughout, he produced a vast collection of drawings and watercolor sketches.
On his return to Britain, Roberts worked with the top lithographer of the day, Lewis Haig from 1842 to 1849, to produce the lavishly illustrated plates of the sketches in the Holy Land and Syria, and Egypt and Nubia series. These were printed by the publisher F. G. Moon in London. الفنان الذي قرر أن ينافس كتيبة من علماء الحملة الفرنسية بعد 37 عاما من إنجاز وصف مصر هو مصور الخلفيات المسرحية وعمارة المسلمين في أسبانيا ومشاهد المعابد والمسلة في مصر والأماكن الدينية المقدسة في بلاد الشام كان يعتبر نفسه أحد عباقرة عصره بريطاني معتد بنفسه واثق في موهبته بشكل لافت للنظر نحن بدورنا لا يمكننا أن نغفل موهبته أو ننكر إخلاصه في مسيرته الفنية وعلى الرغم من بعض العنصرية التي تبدو في أعماله إلا أنها لا زالت تعد بمثابة أيقونات فنية تأريخية أثرية تزين العديد والعديد من الأماكن المميزة في مصر حتى يومنا هذا